well, it's hard from a defeat because you can't really take much away when it's such a obviously you have such little possession and you concede four goals. There's obviously not much positives you can take, but it sounds very cliche that in house we know what we're working on every single day and it, we are making strides with it on the training pitch. Obviously, we've not shown it yet on a match day. Um, obviously, as a fo selfishly as a forward as well, with such little possession, you obviously want as many chances, as many attacks as possible, and that's not happening at the minute. So. Um, yeah, I'm sure with the gaffer style of play, which is not uh, limited possession. So the first few games um, have obviously been like not unexpected because um, we've been like practice, practicing stuff and trying to and trying to perfect what he's been asking us to do on the training pitch. But no, he's uh, he's very good, and I think that if once we get his plan fully into into place and we fully understand what he wants, I think I think it'll be good. Obviously, we've been playing a brand of football now for two three years. Um, what all the players have been used to every single day. We've signed, we signed ten, ten new players um, with, a, with a brand new style of play. So we've got a new style of play, we've got ten new players, nobody knows each other, we've got different nationalities. Um, it's, it's not as easy as just understanding a new style of play, you've got to work every single day to understand the gaffer's messages, what he wants. Um, obviously the gaffer speaks a different language. Um, but he constantly is asking uh, if people understand, if anybody doesn't understand, to ask questions. Um, and all the lads are, are genuinely buying into what he wants and hopefully we can, we can see fruits of that in the next coming performances. Yeah, is that is that patience sort of required from, from you guys as much as everybody else as well, in terms of getting used to, to the way that he wants you all to play? Yeah, especially the all the players, because like I said before, I'm... I'm selfish. I want to score all the goals. I want to assist every single week. Um, but when you're having not much possession, it's obviously you get little glimpses and little chances. So when you're a dominant team, you obviously get a lot more chance to do that. So hopefully we can we can start being that dominant team and and putting teams fully back backs up against the wall and get you good players in the final third more often than not. So a little bit of uh, a little bit of footage of, of JD Gasama who's come in. Uh, he looks quite excited. How's he been in training? Yeah, along with all the other lads, um, him and Moose, obviously tricky wingers, uh, like to get at people. Um, then you've got Big Momo, who's a big destructive midfielder. And then all the other lads who you've seen already have all, have all settled in well into the group. Um, hopefully they can translate that into performances. But I think we, all, we always get tied up in England, especially of when new people come in that oh, they, have to, they have to start this game, they have to do that game, they have to be doing the best that I think you've got to give people time to to settle in, um, play well initially, um, and then hopefully uh, get in our team and, and make us better. I, I presume that's especially so for, for, for Musaba and, and Gosama who were you know, 19 and 22 years old. Yeah, exactly. Uh, limited experience, but a lot of talent clearly um, for the clubs they've, they've been at previously. Um, so yeah, like I said, I hope, hope they come in and make us better. That's obviously I think people think when players come in that the players that are here don't want them to because they might threaten your place or whatever, but we all want good players to come in and make, I want them to make me better, I want to push them, I want to keep them out of the team to make me better, um, I want them to get in the team to make the team better. Um, I think all in all when everybody comes in and does well, everybody wins. I don't want to name drop, but uh, Steven Gerrard once said to me that the highest, uh, the highest lows he's ever had in football always came after is uh, biggest highs, um, and then vice versa as well. So not everything can stay on that cloud. I mean, if everything could stay on the the Wembley cloud for the next three years, that'd be that'd be lovely. But obviously, that's not reality. Um, we're in a different situation now. Um, the target's always going to be to win as many games as possible, and um, yeah, hopefully we can get off this little rocky patch we're on, um, which is only two games in. As I've just said, it doesn't. Um, I think it's more to the outside world that's worrying than the people in here um, but no as I said we're working hard to to correct that